Um, we are a literacy-based program. Everything's black, black this, black that, everything's black. My students is black, my colleagues is black, everybody's black, so it's kind of a breath of fresh air. When someone looks like you, you kind of have that saying, commonality is like, oh, you talk like I do, you walk like I do, and you look like my mama. Like, we got the same hair, we're able to like relate on different levels. Young people aren't walking into spaces where they're going to be excited and be celebrated and affirmed every single morning. Uh, Harambe does that for our young people. Harambe is a Swahili word that means pull together. It reminds them, number one, about who they are. Uh, they get to see faces that look exactly like them. And a term that we use, they get to get loved up on. Um, being a black educator myself, I've seen the impact. I've seen how the students find it easier to relate to you. I see how the parents find it easier to relate to you. Having people in the classroom, people that love them, support them, um, accept them for who they are. I think being accepted by your own people, it just is different and it, it makes everything else that more digestible as a, as a student. I've been able to share my experience. I've been able to share like the impact I've made on my students, um, how I still have relationships with them, how they still call me, um, how I've been able to just transform even their mindsets and just showing them that, they, that my SLAs can do the same or they can even do more just by being in the classroom. And some of my SLAs have already experienced it. One wants to be a teacher now and she has like this relationship with her um, scholars where they're hugging her and saying, you're like the best teacher ever. And I'm like, she's like, oh my God, this is so good. And I'm like, that's only a taste of what you can do in the classroom. To see a bunch of educators who have one goal, who are part of a movement of something bigger than ourselves, to be able to just educate children, to have that support system. So it's been really impactful. I think my purpose is to teach, is to teach. That's what I, that's truly what I think my purpose is. If I wasn't here, um, if I didn't want to teach or didn't think my purpose is teaching, I wouldn't be doing it. What a great opportunity it is to kind of give back to your community and give back to people who weren't or are fortunate enough to not be in a situation like us where we didn't have many black teachers growing up. The start of what you can do can create a success story. You know, I think a lot of times when we do this, we think and we just got a summer job, but I just think that is so much more to their story that you don't know but you can be the spark, you can be the start of it. If you would have me sing my whole interview, the kids would love it. I was just singing for them this morning. Something in my heart by Michelle A. We've come too far to let it all end. I've told you over and over again how I feel inside. But if you go, oh baby, there's something you should know. Something you should know. You should know there's something in my heart, something in my heart, something in who's got me hooked on you. <laughs>